Welcome to another underwater adventure. Today we're finding out about a very special reptile that's been travelling the world's oceans for more than a hundred million years. But what is it? Sea turtles! So let's dive into the ocean with these amazing marine animals. And don't forget to check out the resource in the description below this video. A baby sea turtle is called a hatchling and its life starts right here in the sand. Once it's hatched from its egg, it makes its way as quickly as possible to the safety of the ocean. Let's watch its journey. It takes juvenile sea turtles 10 years to mature into adults. Then they return to the same nesting ground to lay their eggs. So let's head off around the oceans of our world and find out where turtle nesting sites are. Take a look at the following maps showing where each of these turtles nesting sites are. Pause the video and have a good look. Do you notice anything interesting? Are there any areas where different types of sea turtles all lay their eggs? Any parts of our oceans where turtles don't visit and why do you think this is? There are seven types of sea turtle, each with their own unique features. Let's take a closer look at some. The flatback turtle loves to eat sea cucumbers, jellyfish, mollusks and seaweed. One of the larger sea turtles, they can be up to 95 centimetres long. Green turtles live in temperate and tropical waters across the world. They nest in Central America and Australia. Kemp's Ridley turtles live in shallow water where the bottoms of the ocean are sandy and muddy. Unfortunately, these beautiful turtles are critically endangered. Find out about all the other types of sea turtle and where they nest in our resource. You'll find the link below this video. It's challenge time. Unfortunately, sea turtles face a lot of challenges in their lifetime. There are several threats to sea turtles. Have a think about the different ways that sea turtles could come under threat. What makes the ocean dangerous for them? You can pause the video if you need some time to think. How does climate change affect sea turtles? Well, one way is severe storms and rising sea levels. They can flood their nesting sites. Another danger to sea turtles is commercial fishing boats, whose nets often trap sea turtles, causing them to drown. Fertiliser draining into the sea from farmland, waste discarded from ships and rubbish left on beaches all can affect sea turtles. Rubbish can often look like food to turtles. A plastic bag can easily be mistaken for a delicious jellyfish. Find out more about threats to sea turtles and how we can help in the resource to accompany this video. The link's in the description below. You or I might have a picnic, maybe a sandwich or two, but when it's time to eat, what really tickles a sea turtle's taste buds? Our sea turtles have got the munchies, but which foods does each type of sea turtle enjoy eating? I feel another challenge coming on. Use your resource to help you find the answers. This is a loggerhead turtle, but which food would it most like to eat? Shellfish, anemones or seaweed? The answer is shellfish. This one's a bit trickier. What would an immature green turtle like to eat? Immature just means not yet an adult. Would they like jellyfish and anemones? Seaweed and worms? Or fish and sea cucumbers? If you chose seaweed and worms, you're right. Thanks for joining me today and don't forget to download your Twinkle Sea Turtles resource. You'll find the link below this video. Another great addition to your home ed journey.